ever imagined how sad it is you try you work hard but then you give up at the last minute only to learn later that you were close you know sometimes i don't know how which uh, i'm trying to recall something that myself i would realize when i'm trying to do something or i'm waiting for somebody for instance at the time where i am still conscious that okay maybe they're gonna arrive now let me stay let me not go let me know they will delay further and further but it's almost all the time when i have decided to leave that is when a two minutes later or a few moments later they arrive it's always like that to me personally it's just that i'm forgetting what is it but now i know myself that as long as i'm still cautious that if i give up now they're gonna show up they could this is gonna happen i should wait 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 it won't until i give up when i walk that is when it shows up and i'm like no i wish i could just stay long and say now we wait and then they show up and just be like it happens even when i'm waiting for anything I, I think this is as simple as any example so let me tell you everybody they are put on their witchcraft spells double c s you can't give up now come on listen you must learn to fight back don't give up now you know i like one thing which um uh, my pastor said one time when my pastor was uh, giving a testimony on how her husband had died but then she prayed that he resurrected she just found him dead like she could just say this person is no longer breathing she said instead of calling people and say, oh, he's no longer breathing now, she said she just began to pray for him right there. She felt like crying, but she told herself that, you know what? A time to cry will come. Right now, better I stand up and try to resurrect him while I still can. If I fail, then I will still have a lot, a whole week to, to mourn him. Now it is no time to cry. Now it is time to get up. It's time to pray. Now try to apply that faith that I know. You know, you get what I'm saying? Because you are still there. It's almost like you wake up, you find someone that you know at home. They are no longer breathing out of the blue. Instead of you panicking, going to announce and say, ah, oh, concluding, nah, get up and fight. Instead of you giving up, you hear somebody is sick, is being hospitalized. The fact that they're still alive, instead of you stressing, oh, no, what if, what, stop, what if. Let the what if when they arrive direct and where you can just tell. Now there's no going back. The person has been put in the mortuary. Now it's, you got what I'm saying? Learn. So to, I, to, I've seen it as a good lesson. Now you can't give up. All the way, you will have time. Now cast out that spirit. Fight back. Get up. Nullify it. You'll be like, if that time comes. It will come right now. All I have is to be strong. This person might be sick. I might be sick. I might be in pain. I am not dead yet. There will be, if I'm dead, let me, I will only stop spraying when I'm quiet, when I can no longer breathe. Be like that. Have that attitude. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray let the Lord strengthen you. Amen. And of course, that's all I had. My details on the comment section below. See you next time.